Hello everybody and how are you today? I feel like I was only just doing one of these videos. I think the last one I did might have even been in January, like it was really recently. So I was going to say, today we're going to look at the latest drop from Dark and Love, also known as Goth Lolly Beauty, but I've just looked at their website and they've got even more new stuff now. This one here, Dark and Love with the dreadful spindly killerfish logo, you've heard me talk about them a million times. Maybe you've noticed every time they bring out new things I'll do a video to show them to you and do like a bit of a review and stuff. But I think they're bringing out things faster and faster now. The things I'm about to show you were the new arrivals but now there's even newer new arrivals. So I think the things I've got to show you today, some of them are very very pretty, I think you will like them. What I quite like about Dark and Love is that they have stuff that's kind of over the top a little, well not too over the top but you know fancy, you know giant ball gowns and things with feathers on them and stuff but they also have a lot of more normal everyday kind of things. I mean not as simple as like jeans and a t-shirt but nice simple dresses. Also I still don't have any men's fashion, they've still only got women's things because I can't help but be attracted to fashion that's like what most people consider over the top. Uh, I think some of the things I've got to show to you today are pretty fancy, maybe not for every day. I'd say this dress would be more of an everyday thing, maybe for formal occasions or something. This would be good for going out to dinner or something like that. The other things I feel are more on the, the festival concert party kind of side. What might be one person's extreme festival outfit might be someone else's everyday outfit. So how about I stop yammering quite so much and we get on with looking at the pretty things. The pretty things. First thing I will show you is this dress that I have on right now. I'd say that this dress is almost perfect. I quite like it from like here up. Okay, it's about shin length, but I feel like on someone who isn't quite as top heavy as I am, it would possibly fall down a little bit lower. And also the crisscross ribbons on the front would look a little bit better. It's made of this very stretchy soft fabric which clings to the figure, which makes it super unforgiving. And the arms are lace. There's a great big keyhole on the back which unfortunately shows my bra strap through it. Overall I think it's quite elegant, I think it would look better on someone who isn't me. I love the neckline, my favourite part of this dress is definitely the neckline. I love how it's kind of square with this stiff lace, I don't know, it's, it gives it a slightly vintage feel. I really like this lacy neckline. My only complaints would be that it's a little bit scratchy, like the lace is stiff and it's a little bit scratchy on the skin. And also these crisscross ribbons on the front, one of them did pop out at the top so I just put it back through and tied a knot in it and it seems to be fine now. So my opinion is for the quality and stuff, it's what I always say, it's okay. <laughs> I give it like a, a resounding, it's okay. It's not the best, it can be a little fragile, I think these clothes should be handled with care. They are very pretty, they are very beautiful things and the fabrics are very nice, like the fabrics are always good quality and they're pretty well put together. It's just, you know, it's like they're just not quite perfect. If that makes sense, I'd say it's good, but it's not great. Apart from the really pretty neckline, I love how comfortable this dress is, and you don't really need anything to, to dress it up. Anyway, the next item I think has to be my favourite. It's this little capelet doodad. I tend to avoid capelets because, like I said, I'm very top heavy, I've got very broad shoulders, so I'm always happy if I find a capelet that does not accentuate the broadness of my shoulders. When this one came out, there was another one as well. I thought this one looked a little bit more flattering on the shoulders. I have no complaints about this. I think it's beautiful, it's really nicely put together, and it's definitely my favourite thing from what I'm gonna show you today. It's made of a soft and swooshy velvet. It does up at the neck with this pretty little knot. It's unusual in that it's longer at the front and shorter at the back. Most capelets I've seen are the other way around. It has this beautiful trim of black roses with little beads inside them and lace and that trim goes all the way around. To me this really feels like morning, like this has that real Victorian morning feel to me which I just love. It's a pretty good chance if you come to Viggy T or Maraluna or Amphi Festival this year you might see me wearing this at some point. I think it's so pretty! I've put it on the outside of my clothing rack so I can admire it while I'm at my desk. <laughs> Just for a size reference, with Dark and Love I would normally wear an XL or an XXL. They are Asian sizes so they are quite small and I would say that an XXL would be about a UK 14 to 16. I've actually lost a little bit of weight in the last couple of weeks and I'm pretty pleased about that. I've been working very hard. <clears throat> oh, I love this so much. Okay, anyway, next item I've got two skirts to show you. Their skirts are usually one size fits most and like I've said in the past, 
last. They tend to be pretty small, although this time around they are not quite so small. They are quite a lot more forgiving. Where are we? Take off the doodad. So this is pretty stretchy and it will get tighter, so I'd say this would fit a variety of sizes. You know, obviously for more detailed sizes you have to actually look at their website. They do also have like a custom thing, so like I'm not entirely sure how that works. So if you want something made a bit bigger or a bit smaller or to fit you specifically, they do have like a custom service. I'm not, like I said, not entirely sure, but the website is below so you can go have a look if you would like. So this is quite a nice versatile skirt I think. I'd say you would have to wear a corset over this or something to hide the ties on the elasticated waist, but I think this is quite versatile and it really appeals to my sense of style. I like things to be elegant but a bit raggedly raggedly elegant and this has got these lovely layers of this really cool gathered lace which is kind of you know lace but also looks like mesh it's kind of cool it's a little bit different this fabric it has lace around the hem the main part of it is just made of a silky kind of fabric and over the top is a layer of soft mesh I feel like I've owned quite a few skirts of this kind of style over the years I think they're pretty versatile and will work with a variety of different looks this one's cool, it's definitely a keeper. Um, I've got another one here to show you, which is a little bit unusual. I'm not quite as keen on this one. I kind of like half of it. Does that make sense? I like half of it. Cool, I think it's got a cool concept, but I don't particularly like all the fabrics that it's made of. Again, it's one size fits most. That's what the little F means on the label. Pretty stretchy, maybe even stretchier than the other one. Yeah, so it can fit a variety of sizes. I guess it's kind of similar in style to the other one, you know, with those layers that are shorter at the front and longer at the back. What I like about this one is that it's got these chains on it, and that's something that I think is cool about a lot of Dark and Love stuff is that they use these nice, big, solid chains to decorate a lot of their clothes. A lot of the times when I've seen chains decorating clothing, you've been able to just pull them and they'll break apart like that which is really shitty and disappointing, but this is like solid as fuck. I don't know if you can see, but these are like links on top of links and they're really solid. And it also looks like you can remove them. They're on little clips, so I guess you could remove the chains. I found that the skirt looked a lot nicer with a pair of boots than with flat shoes. The fabric that the bulk of this is made of, I can't really describe. It's like a kind of blend of cotton and suede or something. It's a little bit unusual, it's quite nice. The bottom part of it reminds me a little bit of burlesque skirts or of petticoats with these tiered layers of ruffled lace. And of course the chains on the front are really really cool and detachable. Yeah like I said I like half of it. I like it from about halfway up. I think the I think the gatheredness of it is cool and I love the chains. Again it's also something I feel like you have to wear like with a corset or like something that will go over the ties and stuff on the top. But I'm not so keen on the, the bottom part because, I don't know, I'm just not really into that look, you know. These kind of see-through meshy tutu things that you see, does that make any sense? Am I making any sense? Do you know what I'm talking about? That you see on a lot of, like, burlesque outfits. I've never been really particularly keen on that sort of style. But otherwise, it seems like this is going to last a long time. It feels pretty, like, heavy duty, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Only one thing left, and it's super pretty. I don't, unfortunately, I don't think it really flatters me. Again, it's so hard to find clothes that fit my stupid cone body shape. I've got really wide shoulders, I've got big boobies, I've got no real hips and long legs and uh, tiny feet so I'm basically a cone. So this I feel fits pretty well, it's a little bit tight across the shoulders like practically fucking everything is on me. I feel like it sits a little bit funny on the chest and doesn't really flatter the wide shoulders but I think it's a super beautiful jacket and screw it, I'm gonna wear it anyway. It has these great big wide lapels which are trimmed with lace and have this beautiful applique detail which I think is my favourite bit. It does up with two clasps at the waist. It has slightly flared cuffs with really pretty buttons on them. The whole thing is made of this thick, heavy velvet. And at the back, it's got this really sweet tiered lace insert. It's got a nice shape. I feel like this would look really super over a flared, like a large skirt, you know? Not a tutu or something, but like a large sort of ball skirt. The skirt I was wearing it with was from a previous Dark and Love video. I love that skirt. It's quite like a wide, velvety affair, so it suited this quite perfectly. I love this jacket. Like I said, I'm just gonna I'm gonna wear it anyway. I think it would also look really nice with like a jabot, if that's how you pronounce it, you know, like a big frilly cravat. That would look nice. Shit, that would look really nice. This jacket, big ball skirt, big frilly lace affair at the throat. That would look so smashing. Here we go, festival outfit idea. Gosh, I can't believe how soon Wave Gothic Traffin is. It's in less than one month. Ah! ah, ah. 
uh, that's everything I have to show you this time. I love this jacket. I think it's really, really cool. I hope you agree. But this is definitely my favourite thing. And this is definitely going to be getting the most love. I think they really make some cool things. Like I've said, feel like the quality's kind of okay. It's not the most amazing. It's okay. It'll do. <laughs> of course, as always, I will link in the description box below to where you can see every individual item. And yeah, I can't believe it. They've already brought out new things. And a lot of them are really pretty and... Ah, I, I can't keep up anymore. Do you let us know which was your favourite and if you were going to be going to any of the festivals this year or if you've got anything exciting planned for summer. I feel like the winter just lasted forever. I feel like it just went on and on. It was this long, slow, dark, depressing, never ending period of uncomfortable hibernation and all of a sudden boom all the trees are green and all the flowers are coming out and now there's suddenly going to be heaps of stuff to do. I feel like the seasons just suddenly changed and it went straight from the cold bleak winter to festival time. Do let us know if there's anything fun that you're going to be up to this summer if you've got anything exciting planned. I personally do. It's going to be really busy. I hope it's going to be super busy doing fun stuff. And I always do appreciate your suggestions because for example a couple of years ago I think one of you left a comment saying are you going to the castle party in Poland and I was not aware of it and I, I looked it up and I went to it and I had a wonderful time so whoever it was that suggested that thank you that was like that was su that's such a happy memory that was wonderful I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go this year let us know what you're up to if anything all right thank you very much for joining me in my plain white background with this beautiful decorative light switch wall socket combo if you have not already done so please subscribe to my channel hit the wee button below and join us and as always take care of yourselves be nice to each other and I'll see you next time bye